This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, uh, Luke Metal codes, Eternatus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website, it's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace. <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's Zadok's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG live stream on my channel. Today we are defending the team challenge, uh, actually our league, Albion, and uh, that's gonna be nice. We are playing with Arna, Bart, as well as Rebecca. It's gonna be uh, a good time. We are actually uh, uh, waiting for the uh, opponent to just uh, uh, get, of course, the matches set up. So it's gonna be uh, the trainer organizers that have to uh, match us up together. We already know what we're up against and uh, we already know what we're playing. Also, if you're watching this live, there's a five minute delay. I'm actually gonna put that in the chat as well. Uh, so you guys don't uh, like think that I'm ignoring you or anything. It's just going to be a five minute delay because I don't want to have the opponent having the advantage by just having a stream snipe going around. That's something we want to try and avoid here. We're going to be checking out the deck list very shortly. So um, let's just uh, put that in the chat first. Hi, thanks for joining the live stream as mentioned. There's a five minute delay so if to avoid stream snipers if I respond a bit late to your comments don't worry about it there we go so uh, we put that in the chat. We are totally live. It's uh, a five minute delay, so don't worry about it at all. We uh, posted it on Facebook as well that we are live. And uh, this is the list that I actually wanted to be playing with. So uh, we are playing Santa Scourge again because uh, in the local meta, uh, I actually wanted to be playing Blounds every single time. So I didn't want to be bringing Blounds. And uh, thankfully, I did not do that because they actually are bringing Whimsy God. So um, Anyone got tips for new players? Uh, the best tip is to play as much as possible and uh, also grind a lot on the versus ladder. You're gonna be seeing a whole variety of decks being played. And I also suggest uh, starting with the standard format only. If you just uh, combine expanded and standard, that's going to be a little bit clunked up. You also need a lot of cards to be doing that. Just play standard and you're gonna be good. Also, uh, there's a lot of people in here. I'm gonna be giving some uh, shout outs here. Who we have? Yan Lin, thanks for joining the stream. Numo, Yankee PM, B Nee, uh, there's Hatim. Up to ice. Uh, there's a uh, Thomas Freep, Manuel Ballester, Ouija Danger Boy, Roberto Maldonado. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Perkative, uh, my round two games are today. Good luck. Yeah, thanks for the good luck wishes. Stubbly cover, uh, Matt86 again. <laughs> Hi, fans. Uh, good luck and have fun, Zap. What decks is he running today? Today we're playing Santi Scorch. Uh, hi, Legend of Flow. Uh, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, we have Weens Alice. So a lot of people are joining in the, in the chat right now. I'm actually going to be checking if uh, <laughs> when the, the matches will start. I think it's in about two minutes or something. So, uh... okay. So uh, our team is ready. Uh, we are playing uh, interesting decks. We are playing uh, Eternus with Weavile. So uh, Bart is playing Eternus VMAX with Weavile. Then we have ourselves Arne, my good friend that I go to uh, local tournaments and uh, international tournaments with. He is actually piloting Mad Party, I think. And uh, we are actually, <laughs> I always insta like Zap those videos. My man deserves more subs and likes. Thanks, Beanie. If you are a fan of the channel, if you guys are uh, actually enjoying yourself, be sure to smack the hell out of that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And uh, if we can get the likes up to like, I think last stream had 190 likes. If we are able to beat that, that would be uh, superb. I don't know if this stream is gonna be very long, uh, but uh, we'll have to see how the matches go. So 
For those of you that don't know, the team challenges is with teams around the world and you're not playing individually, you're playing as a team, which is good because I know all these people from my local league. That's the only league I actually go to uh, on a weekly basis right now in pandemic situations. It's a little bit harder than usual, but uh, we play test there all the time. And uh, yeah, my good friends are playing alongside with me. We're all playing different decks. We have Rebecca playing control. We have, uh, yeah, myself playing Santa Scorch. We have Bart playing Eternatus. Uh, with Weaval, of all things, to uh, avoid crushing hammer stuff. We also have ourselves, uh, of course, Arna with Mad Party. So our team has a little bit of uh, diversity in there. And what else can we see here is uh, what the opponents are playing. So uh, first of all, I'm going to be talking about my deck a little bit. We have GMAX Santiferno, very good. We have Great Catcher as well as Tool Scrapper. And the Tool Scrapper is mainly here for stuff like ADPization. I was expecting like a Rusted Sword or something, so we can cut that off before they are able to equip it. Also, we can cut off big charms uh, to uh, be able to one-hit KO eventually uh, on the uh, bench there's because sometimes they put a big charm onto their Dene and it's gonna be hard finding Wilder and Boss in the same turn. So uh, we are not playing Galarian Zigzagoon with pings, but we do, uh, however, run Heat Fire Energy to uh, get ourselves more HP. So it's a strangely tacked out version of Sunscore VMAX, and we also have the Wanderer's Labyrinth to slow down uh, opponents. If they're not playing any stadiums, that can get, of the, can, can get us the upper hand. So uh, now we're knowing what we're up against. We also have Giratina to get rid of Metal Coding Energies, and um, the, the decks that our opponents are playing, actually, I'm going to be putting that on screen right about now. So, yeah, still need to uh, establish the link here. So, deck list, there we go. So there we have it. We're actually going to be zooming in a little bit and uh, this is uh, what uh, our opponents potentially would be playing. I don't know if I'm going to be up against this specific version of Senti. There's uh, three decks that they have been ex exposed. One of the players of the team that we're up against uh, did not submit the deck list. That's Noah. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, I don't even know the, the official rules for the team challenges, but these are the players we're up against. And the funny fact is it's Belgium versus Belgium. What are the chances? It's like completely randomized. So uh, uh, I don't know if you guys are from Belgium or not, but if you know Leuven, that's a city in um, Belgium, we are playing Kortrijk. So it's a, a very uh, local uh, <laughs> matchup for sure. So these are uh, people we're playing. Kevin Scrivers, Luke Bowens. I do know Luke Bowens, so very nice guy. He's a Poké Dad. Uh, there's a lot of clean put, so there's a couple of people that I do know, and uh, what are they bringing to the table? They have Santa Scorch. Don't worry about these uh, weird cards. This is like, I think, Crobat V. Yeah, the Crobat V from, yeah, the promo Crobat V, the shiny one. He's also playing a Galarian Zigzagoon, and there's uh, another Santa Scorch V as one of these cards, and then another one that we don't see is the Cramorant. So lots of shiny stuff in his deck for sure. This is going to be quite the mirror matchup we're up against that. Luckily, we do have Great Catcher, so that's going to be helping us out in the long run. We have the Heat Fire Energy to have some more durability. And we also have we also have Fion, which could be helping out. Next uh, is this list. This looks a little bit tacked out for sure. I have never seen Rosa in uh, a Luke Metal deck before. This is playing a 2-2 line of Bronze on of all things. Also playing Communication uh, alongside that. I'm not too worried about this since we have Cramrant with Spit Shot. Spit Shot will allow us to uh, one head KO the Bronzong instantly, so I'm not too worried about that. And we also have Tool Scrapper. If they have like full Metal Wall GX in combination with Metal Goggles onto their Bronzong, we can still uh, we are still able to Spit Shot that Bronzong afterwards. And we also have Fion, so this list is also not playing any li uh, Lily Spoke at all. So very huge, very huge indeed. We cannot attack him uh, with stuff, but we can still like smack around with. <laughs> Sometimes emergency situation with Eldegos. We can also spit shot and uh, that's gonna be good. So uh, lots of yeah, Albion versus uh, Demo Spell Leuven. That's very nice. Thank you for streaming this. My team got round one by and tomorrow is our round two. So this is nice to see how it works. Yeah, I'm also very eager to see how it works. Okay, how will this work out? We're just waiting around. Does anybody think Blasters VMAX will be meta one day? Uh, yeah, this is actually uh, the way it is right now. This is the live stream going around. And as I can see, there's already 21 likes. Okay, we were actually checking out and seeing uh, the deck list that we're up against. We already checked out Santi Scores. We already checked out Luke Metal. Uh, and I'm, I'm checking when I have to play here because I don't want to be missing out. Okay. One game loss uh, for the person that didn't enter a deck list. Interesting. They could potentially, uh, yeah, one game is not, this is just uh, the top 512 uh, teams that are battling it out. I'm just gonna check what my opponent is. Pairings. OK. 
Okay. So we are uh, still live, five minute delay. We checked out this. He is playing only one swell. So, uh, and this list is running three giant hearts. That's not, uh, we have Wondrous Labyrinth, which could help out if we have the upper hand. We have Giratino to get rid of that coating metal energy. He's not playing Stealthy Hood. Uh, this should be okay. Uh, the Bronze Zone gets me a little bit scared as if Crown ran the prize, but other than that, he's probably gonna be relying on Luke Metal. He's probably gonna be relying on Zacian. So drawing cards from the prize card shouldn't be any trouble. Moving forward, we have this. This is a, an interesting list for sure. This is Whimsical with a 2-2 line of Greedent. Only one Dedani, only one Orokoreo. And that I found very funky. Only six energies in here. So he will need to draw incredibly well to find them at these energies. He's also playing a high amount of Ordinary Rod, so that's a dead card early on. He does play three Lucky Eggs, but with Tool Scrapper, we're able to knock these Lucky Eggs up. So maybe we, he bricks instantly. And also Volcanion can be quite the formidable attacker against Whimsicott. We have Great Catch, we have Tool Scrapper. So these are the three decks that we uh, right now have uh, access to. So uh, right now I'm actually going to be checking out what we are playing. So uh, let's just go over to Albion. So you can see all the uh, deck lists for all the people playing in certain ligas for the uh, team challenge. That's very nice. So uh, that's me, <laughs> my list. You can see that right here. So uh, you don't even need to use TCGO. This is my list right here. Tacked out version of Santi. Love it. Heat Fire Energy is uh, new to the list. Wondrous Labyrinth is new to the list, as well as the Great Catcher. And uh, yeah, the Tool Scrapper as well. So it's a little bit tacked out version, but we still have three Volcanions. So as soon as we get the Flare Starter off, we should be good to go. And uh, that's just my list. Moving forward, we have Bart, Bart Hermans. He's playing that funky Eternatus with Weavile list, right? Yeah, look at that. He's representing Belgium also with Tool, tool Scrapper. Tool Scrapper seems to be very popular in uh, the Belgium meta, as you can see, because everybody's always playing those uh, rogue decks. Okay, let's get it on. Two copies of Viridian Forest. Will this deck be able to win against other matchups? Weavile against like Bronzong? Uh, I don't know. He also has Darkrai and Umbreon, which could technically help against that uh, Zamazenta, by the way. We'll see how it goes. Interesting list. So that's unique stuff. I'm also going to be updating you guys on uh, who wins and who loses. Rebecca, this is a funky list, right? Look at this. Excadrill Control. With, of course, Jesse James, Chip Chips, and then shuffling everything back as soon as you get that. So Control, very scary archetype. I don't know what they can do about that. There's also Galler Trapping going around with two copies of Boss and Galler Mine. And we can shuffle everything back with the Axe Control. So no Munchlax in here. Instead of Munchlax, it resorts to like um, the Rotor Tile. Sometimes there's like even the one-off Axe Control to just one hit KO uh, peek around or something. Very, very, very interesting, wouldn't you say? And then the last, our good friend Arne. You already know Arna from lots of vlogs we're doing from the international tournaments. Look at this. This is Mad Party with the Mew in there. With Palpat, Tool Scrapper as well. <laughs> we're all playing Tool Scrapper, that's hilarious. How is that even possible, man? I just tried to, to snuck it in as a last minute resort, but this is hilarious, man. Everybody's playing Tool Scrapper. Okay. Uh, seems to be fine. Seems to be fine. Maybe they are knowing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if the Mew is necessary or not. Either way, the Giovanni's Axel. This seems to be like a, a very fine uh, mad party list. Still no level balls because this is still the um, pre-Battle Styles format. Just as you know, uh, Battle Styles will only be legal for 14 days after release. And if I'm looking at the date right now, we are the 27th of March. That means it will be legal next Friday for the next team challenge, which is going to be awesome. Hopefully, we'll be securing ourselves for the top 256. That would be like totally awesome. So now that we checked out everybody's list, let's just go back to uh, Demo Spell. Actually, Spell is actually the Dutch name for uh, game. So this guy didn't uh, submit a deck list. They will let me know what our opponent is. So let's just go back to TCGO. Okay, I, I know you guys are a fan of the um, live stream. So uh, <laughs> a wild Yari appeared. No, no, Joshua, it's region based. Is it region based? Cool. It is region based. I'm five minutes behind, so I'm looking at these comments right now. Yeah, okay, it is region based. So stores face off against each other. That's what happens right now. So stores against stores, and there's already 20, uh, 28 likes. Uh, let's just uh, single strike the hell out of that like button to just get it to 190, just like last stream. 
the better the stream does, the more streams we're doing. That's how it is right now. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. We're posting daily Pokemon TCG content. And today, we uploaded Salazzle, Weeping Bell, and even destroyed Tier 1 decks. Be sure to check that out after this live stream. <laughs> Legend of Float, thanks for uh, the beat them all boy uh, comment. Thank you for streaming. That's no problem at all. Oh, sweet. My first ever YouTube shout out. Uh, Beanie. Oh yeah, fun, fun games for sure. A wild Yari appeared. That's cool. Still waiting for my pairings to come up, but it's okay. Noah will be the captain for their team as we did the same. Only three players per team play and one is a captain that can spectate and give advice. Oh, that makes sense. Interesting. I live in Canada and my city. There were not any events. I am making an Urshifu deck that I would like to play at events. It will be my first time ever. Don't be nervous at all. They will, of course, come back. Real life tournaments. Real life tournaments. <laughs> yeah, they're already watching the live stream. We're almost at 100 people playing. Thank you very much. Everybody that's in here, that's just perfect. You guys are what made the channel rock. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Celebration time. Celebration time. Uh, we are actually having some uh, special effects added into the live stream. So every single time I try to improve these live streams so uh, you guys have more viewing uh, yeah, comfort. That's going to be awesome. I wonder what my first opponent will be. I'm very stoked here. Uh, there's already a request. I don't know if these are going to be uh, the way to go. We're going to be going to the collection. We already have like 1,000 coins. So maybe we should open some uh, battle styles packs. I'm walk talking about battle styles packs. We're gonna be giving away some battle styles packs just because that's how I like it. Uh, PTC Joe Code's on screen right now. Double battle styles. Don't claim both of them. Don't be that greedy person. Just claim one so another person has a chance to, of course, get uh, a battle styles code. <laughs> I, Yari needs to uh, multitask so badly. Mm, need to coach all of the players, but I can't let Joshua totally uh, free in his way. So funny. It stays like it is, Joshua. No game loss because Noah is the leader. Okay, cool. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. He's the team leader. Okay, uh, the, the team organizers are in a call right now. So the, the, the match will start very shortly. So hopefully you guys uh, claim that TCGO code. While we're at it, uh, we are actually going to be opening up some battle styles packs ourselves by just going to the shop. Hopefully we'll find all, uh, these cool alternate artworks. Let's go to redeem codes. <laughs> Sponsored by Monster. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm actually a fan of Monster. I've been drinking Red Bull uh, a lot before tournaments, but they, yeah, sometimes you just have to change it up a little bit. I think people drink like coffee. Uh, I don't drink coffee at all. So that's like my caffeine to just go, go for the entire day. And uh, just today, I actually uh, uploaded lots of content. Uh, they will be going live every single time. I think it's around 4.30 uh, Central Europe time that a new video goes live every single day. So be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out. Oh, we're up against Lotte. Who's that? Tsunade spammer. Tsunade spammer. She's playing Luke Metal. Well, wow, that's that. What's the bronze on, by the way? Let's hope both bronze are prized. So this is another win. Interesting. Let's add that. Let's do this. Adding Tsunade spammers. <laughs> is that like Tsunade spammer from playing the uh, uh, request? Tsunade spammer. Okay. Uh, all friends. Ta ta. Tsunade spammer. Let's go. Cool, 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 cool. We are here. We are live. Okay, let's do this. So Tsunade Spammer is our opponent. Let's be playing our fancy Senti list. Sent Scourge V freaking Max. Let's do this. We're up against Loot Metal, but with Bronzong. So it's a little bit of a twist. Don't know how to feel about this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, we're waiting it out. Waiting for Tsunade Spammer. Come on. Tick tock, tick tock. Everybody's waiting for this match. Hmm. Come on, Tsunade Spammer. Can we start the match or what? 
I'm scared of Bronzong. I'm so scared of Bronzong because our only non-fire attackers like Kremer and <laughs> Eldegoes could also give a smack now that I think about it. Do not spam where you at. Where are you at? Mm -hmm. Where is she at? What? Okay. Declined the challenge. She's already declining the challenge. Let's just uh, t talk to my trainer organizers. When can we start? When can we start? Instantly starting. Come on, buddy, let's do this. Alkair, thanks for joining the stream. Anyone tell me if Battle Styles is going to be standard legal for tournaments next weekend? It is. It is going to be uh, legal for next tournament. Lagor, thanks for uh, your comment. Let's do this again. Send the activate to Naughty Spammer. You're up. Yes, we are able to get going. Good luck from Indonesia, all the way from Indonesia. Are they gonna go first or second? They are gonna go first. Okay. Good luck. It's best of three, so... Wow, what is our hand? This is the best hand in the world? Is it? Tishigi Yo Shuffles in the house. Luckily, we do start with little Jirachi. <laughs> Instant Bronzor. Okay. If we're able to knock out this Bronzor, that would be cool. That would be terrific. Attachment on the Bronzor. Let's just dunk this guy. One. Oh, tackle. That's sad. Loop Metal in the house. There's the Loop Metal. Slapping down the Loop Metal. Just passing out. That's insane. We also instantly have the Cramorant. It all depends on what we get here. Maybe Welder and we're good. Yeah, well done, we're good. Sometimes that's all we need. Sometimes that's all we need. Just gonna leave that communication so we can get the Danny out of our out of the situation. Or not. The wonder is like you have a good deck. Thank you. Giant hard right now. So we can tin out the deck a little bit. One, two. <laughs> well played. Cool. You have a good deck. Well played. What? What's going on? What is going on here? I don't see a Zacian anywhere. Just see a lone Bronzar. Zacian. Research. Interesting. That's no boss. That is no boss. We do have boss. What is in the discard pal? What is in the discard pal? What is in the discard pal? We didn't knock out anything, so Rosa is not gonna be too successful. Still having the Jirachi in the active slot. Metal Saucer onto Luke Metal. Communication. Probably will see the Bronze R. Okay. Here's the bronze zone. If we're able to knock out the bronze zone, the game's already over. Because those give up three prize cards. We have Great Catcher, and he doesn't even play Lily Spoke at all. And this also, yeah, this is probably gonna be game. Probably gonna be game. So we spit shot this bronze zone while we add it. We, have, we even have Switch to work with. That's busted. So hopefully, find something like a quick ball. Brrrr. Okay. Quick ball is gonna be necessary right now. It's communication again. Scoop up net. Yeah, scoop up net can turn us off into a communication. Yeah, that's fine. Utterly fine. So, what we are gonna do. <laughs> well played. Scoop up. This. Uh, maybe we should have waited with that, but we have Stellaration Communication as all that funky stuff as well. Mmm, yeah, should have actually gone for Communication to Danny Jax, but it's fine either way. Spit Shot, 
the bronze on. Everything goes away, so full model wall jacks will not do anything. Let's see what we have to work with here. A tool scrapper. Pretty interesting. Also, no medals in... Oh, one medal in the discard pile. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I would rather, like, go for, like, switch Stellar Wish than to uh, <laughs> go with this scenario. I wonder how you guys are feeling. Just gonna check out the comments real quick. Full Metal Wall GX is here. Not a lot going on, to be honest. There's another switch card. Will we find a quick ball right now? That's all we need. Yeah, there's a quick ball, finally. Tool Scrapper could be nice. Don't have Welder just yet. The Wondrous Labyrinth is nice though. This only slaps 50. He only plays one swell. We still need energies, by the way. Mmm, interesting. Quick ball. Let's get rid of this. How many energies left? Enough. He already used full metal wall jack, so I think it's gonna be time for one hell of a Dedenne. Could also go for Heatran, by the way. Heatran. Going Weldering onto Heatran. Slapping some damage with Heatran. Hmm. He could have Saucer and then uh, knock us out here. So that's something I also don't want us to be seeing. But I want to be saving energy because we potentially could uh, attack with Heatran. Let's go. <laughs> Wonder Labyrinth. Let's put that away because we still need it. Senti. Do we Fion? We have Great Catcher as well. This guy's probably not gonna be doing anything, so. Could get rid of the Fion. Welder. Ta ta! And another one of these. Senti again. Or do we communication Heatran? He could potentially knock out this guy. Do want to find myself some answers. Senti pass. Let's see what he has to work with. Tear it up for Kartrek. Thanks, Thomas, for, uh, for being in the stream today. Luckily, we still have access to Fire Crystal. There's a Santi ready to just annihilate some opponents. Communication. There's a Bronzor again. I'm not afraid of Bronzor. We still have access to our Cramorant. Maybe he goes after Cramorant. Okay, Steel Fist for nothing. That's funky. Okay, what do we need is... Well, how many energies in here? Eight. Interesting. Steel Fist, he can accelerate an energy. That's totally fine. We need to find something like a switch or a scoop up net. Fire Crystal, well, that's broken. So right now we're gonna be able to slap, if we attach an energy 160 times two is 320, this full metal wall madness is not gonna be lasting too much longer. Communication, Senti. We do have the Giratina here. We do have the Giratina here. So that would mean that we need to find a switch card. Scoop up nets or quick ball. Yeah, scoop up nets is a switch out. Senti Scourge, V Max in the house. Scooping up the Jirachi. <laughs> well played. Three energies. This <laughs> Giratina gets rid of that energy. Could even get rid of another Jirachi. It finds even some more energies. There's no more energies left, but it's totally fine. G Max, Santiferno. The only thing we need is like Eldegos, Quick Ball, Quick Ball, Eldegos, Boss. 
And I know that Elder Ghost is in there. You should have done it first, throw away all the fire. <laughs> nah. Throwing away all the fire is no fun. Oh yeah, already 40 likes in here, thanks. So yeah, this guy is already able to slap 240, so we don't even need a lot if we attach off turn. Yeah, there's no more energies with the giant heart, but it's okay. It's okay. We either we uh, knock out the uh, bronzer with the Kremrand, or we just oof, just intrepid sword. Well, we can go and boss this guy. One, two, three, four, five energies in total. That's 240 damage. Hmm. We could stamp him to a low hand size, or we can just... Yeah, this guy's not gonna be able to do anything anymore. If we just boss this guy, we do have switch in hand, so next turn he's done for. I might as well stamp him to a low hand size as well. There we go. <laughs> 400, 450 freaking damage. No blounts today. I'm sorry. I'm uh, not playing blounts today because people in Belgium might be expecting blounts. So I did play Senti. I just like uh, Welder decks in general. So they, ju they do do me well. That's what we're saying. This is be best of three, by the way. Best of three. And we just need to go through one Senti and we have ourselves access to two switches. And we can also like welder and attach of turn to retreat. <laughs> what is this guy gonna do? We stamped it to a low hand size. He could attach and attack. Swell, a little bit late to the party. I'm sorry. A little bit late to the party. What will he do? What will he do? Yeah. Okay, for the people that are still in here, thank you for so, so much for joining the live stream. Already 130 people in here, it's only gonna get better. So uh, be sure to single strike the hell out of that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And the opponent is playing Whoa, Rosa. Rosa! I've never seen Rosa in Luke Metal before. Doesn't help out though. So even with Metal Goggles, we have seven energies. That's like one head going anything. Ow. So with 7 energy, that's 280, that's just crazy. Well played. First or second for game 2. Okay. It's totally time to get our team to the um, top. Mm, is she typing? First or second game two, we don't hear. Oh, we'll see anyhow. So let's just go for G Max and 54. Bam, 260. And now our sense scorches just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, that's Luke Metal down. We even knocked out like Bronzong and Bronzor. So, uh, yo. Yo, hi, Joshua. It's Brian. Uh, Britso, thanks for joining. Uh, where are you people from? I see people from here from uh, Indonesia. So that's pretty nice. People from all across the world here. See people from uh, Belgium, people from Indonesia, people from the Netherlands. Oh yeah. Thanks Yelin for being a part of the stream once again. These streams are becoming more frequent. I think every single week we're streaming at specific times just to play tournaments. And it's been such a blast. If you guys haven't subscribed just yet, be sure to do so. We are posting daily Pokemon TCG content. I cannot stress that out enough. Let's go, Tails never fails. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I added in those effects just to make the streams a little bit more entertaining. And I do think it's it's more funny that way. Burr, burr, burr. This is a strange hand. Let's go. Okay, opponent is gonna first. We're having the flare starter going around. It's gonna be awesome. Depending on uh, what she is planning to do, we should be okay. We should be okay. Let, yeah, just just uh, this guy. Position. 
Azation in the house. Okay, we could slap down Wanderer's Labyrinth just to make it hard for the opponent, but that will also allow us to need more stuff. Flare starter. One, two, three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> Genius start. Thank you. Hey man, it's my first stream. Good luck. Elias Carton, thanks for joining the stream. <laughs> what a hand. Uh, this is five minutes delayed, by the way, if I'm a little bit late to replying to your comments. It's all good in games. Such a huge hand. What will she do? It's a quick ball. What will it come out of that quick ball? It's a bronze ore. Okay, 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 okay. We do have boss, so... Oh, no, we do not have boss. I was a bit... A bit too soon, but our hand is better right now. Could have slapped down Wanderer's Labyrinth, but right now we could go for Heatran Switch bossing the Bronze Ore. That's an option. Scoop up net for nothing. Metal Goggles as well. The Entropid Sword. We can get some more energies. That's at least fine. The Heat Fire Energy. This guy is probably going to knock out our... Uh, Either our Senti or our uh, fella. Mm hmm. Giratina in the house. We could also try to slow the opponent down by going for. <laughs> well played. We could slow the opponent down. We can scoop up the Giratina once again for later. Let's just give up on Eldegos right now. And let's buff our HP at 230 is probably not going to be the way to go, unfortunately. Welder is way busted, way more busted. Let's just attach here. Hope he doesn't have boss. If he has boss, it's going to be sad. But we still have scoop up Giratina stuff left. And now that I think about it, let's just save that Giratina so we can use it next turn. Let's go. Hey, he blasts. 190. So either way, uh, Volcanion can knock out uh, the Zation. Or we have sent Scorch VMAX. Either way, I'm fine with this communication. Why not kill Zation? Yeah, the special energy is a little bit hard to deal with sometimes. Lone Bronze on. Is this gonna be the way to go? We did give up our Eldigo, so that could be his win con if our Kremran is prized. Do you think Corby Knight still has potential? Oh, I tried it out in a tournament. Sound effects are a bit too loud, okay. I have to uh, lower them down. Lower them down. Can I do that from here? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to lower them down later. Okay, Mellow Llama, wow. Hmm. Corbin IV Max tier 1. Okay. Intrepid Sword again. Hopefully, we find something. Like, communication is good. Quick Ball is good. Welder is good. Tool Scrapper. Need to save that Tool Scrapper because as soon as he gets for Full Metal Wall Jacks, which probably will not be the case anymore. Okay. These are the last of our energies, by the way. Mm-hmm. Not gonna be over attaching here. He also needs to have switch. He could have switch and all that. High heat blast. It's not gonna go through that uh, bronze on, unfortunately. We're gonna have to wait it out. So uh Yeah, I do speak Dutch. <laughs> India. He can set up safely on the bench, but he's not gonna be going for uh Your Pokemon Axe is now confused, that's scary. Portugal, and now they come in. Intrepid Sword, looking for that boss of orders. We need to find Sun Scorch VMAX ASAP because our hand is like ridiculously bad. Wondrous Labyrinth. Wondrous Labyrinth, okay. Not a lot we can do right now. It probably has boss, so we are in an uh, awkward position. We're dead drawing so many things in the deck. 
it's still dead drawing though. He can also not go for full Metal Wall Jax, which is good. So the only thing we need is like a Fire Crystal, maybe he Marnies, maybe he doesn't. Attachment onto the Bronze Arm. Hopefully Kadex well is prized, so he, she needs a lot of energies to start attacking with. Not attacking on the Zacian, so our Senti is safe. Yeah. We need a lot of stuff. And Trapped Sword again. And we don't have a way. We, we do have Reset Stamp to uh, alter the opponent's hand because our opponent's hand is like huge. Giant Heart again. Could potentially draw into boss. He potentially could draw into boss. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is not getting us anywhere. Our different rules in you, I thought it was uh, three versus three. Uh, it is. We are right now playing. All our other people are also playing. It's 1 0, and we cannot do anything about this bronze zone. Oh, that's nice, Frankie T. Thanks for using the Poke Down Store coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off. It does help out the channel more than you would possibly think, so thank you so much. Yeah, our hand right now. The sound effect just indicates what our hand looks like. Well played. Is this well played? <laughs> yeah, the Wondrous Lab was well played. Okay, cool. Buys ourselves at least one more turn. That hand is, hu is huge, man. Senti is here. At least that's nice. We could retreat and get rid of all the opponent's energies. Don't want to do that though. This guy, this guy is not going to be doing too much. Slapping like 70 damage, that's like nothing. <laughs> Come on, man. We have been here for like a whole lot of turns. This guy is going to slap. Oh, another Pokemon that could indicate we can boss him. And if we boss this, we can boss that and that one as well. We, we have two boss. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, this Bronze, I'm gonna slap a little bit of damage. I'm never gonna be attacking with uh, Zacian, now that I think about it. Yeah, we have to lower the, the volume. I will do that when they when we play them again. 70 damage and confusion. Busted. Utterly broken. Another Senti. Retreat! <laughs> well played. Thank you, I guess. Could slap down Giant Heart and get rid of more energies. We'll see how he goes. Or we can just let this uh, Sense Scorch get sacrificed while we wait it out. He could retreat and slap with Zacian and then hang on to this Bronze Horse. Either way, it's looking incre incredibly weird right now. Attachment of the Zamazenta of all things. So we need to go to a Zamazenta and we need to go to a Zacian and a Bronzo. That's a lot to ask for, man. The game is still not done, though. We potentially could do something. Yeah, what happened to those? I don't know. We're confused again. Ooh. If we slap on Cramorant, he goes after it instantly, so we just have to wait it out. We just gotta wait it out. We have to have some patience in this map. <laughs> Zacian V Max, no, hopefully not. Zacian V Max, I don't see it happening. It could potentially. Attachment on the Zamazenta. Keep on attacking. Yeah, this is uh, turning into quite the predicament. We need to find something like a switch or a welder. This is not getting us anywhere. Yeah, he's gonna knock us out next turn, so hopefully we will draw something. How many switches do we have left? Communication. How do you win against Bronzong uh, with Kremorand? If we find it, if we find the welder here, come on, man. We need to find Welder, and actually I'm going to promote 
either we top deck, uh, he can take an additional prize card on uh, this guy. Come on. Communication, well, that took us like forever. Forever and ever. Communication. Okay, the Dene GX is finally here. Good leaf. This guy alone. Could Crobat first. We do have more cards left to work with. This tool scrapper. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Giant heart. Attach. Crobat. Come on, welder. Welder and fire crystal. We do have the welder though. Welder for one. Not too shabby. But it's okay. Maybe Bronzong is prized. Well, the ring for one. We do have a reset stamp as well. Okay, cool. Stamp. If we top back scoop on that, we can uh, maybe do something. Come on, man. What now? Retreat and KO, or just KO with the Bronzong, then we attach and knock you out? Is that the way we go? Attachment onto the uh, Zamazenta here. Yeah, that Bronzong is super annoying. <laughs> well played, okay. What can we do against that? What can we do against that? Come on, good top deck. Giratina. Yeah, there's no way we can win right now. Well played. I go second next game. Yeah, Bronzong. Our hand was just bad. We just drew, dead drew like insane to insanity. 1-1 one, one right now. Okay. Come on, focus. Get us a better, better hand. Come on, we got this. Second, right? Yes. Okay, folks, I <laughs> have no the mulligan as well. Oh, man. Come on, we need this. Well, this is interesting. Let's go. Let's go get it. Let's see what, he, uh, what she starts with. Bronzor again. Metal goggles on the Bronzor attachment. Oh. That's well played. That is well played. Welder. Look at that. We will be able to knock this guy out instantly. Hey ho! Here we go, hot burn GX. Here we go. Woo! Okay. We did it. That's uh, one victory down. One victory down. Thanks to everybody for the nice wishes, if you want. We did it. We did it.
I did it. That's one victory. Let's hope the other fellas of our team are doing well too. Ooh. Okay, our trainer organizer is gonna share the results. That was very funny, man. Yeah, we could still uh, start off. So uh, we were planning to just get some battle styles codes and you guys can get some battle styles codes as well. I'm gonna be putting two of them up on screen right about now. TCGO codes up on screen right now. There you go. Just join. What is this? This is team challenge. Uh, people from all across the world are playing in their own league against other leagues. So it's in a team. And uh, if the first team that gets uh, up to five victories wins. And right now I won against a Luke medal. Uh, our friends are still busy. I'm uh, curious to see the... Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just uh, telling uh, my uh, teammates that uh, if they win or lose, they have to uh, report the score so we know when uh, we're at five victories already. So uh, the codes are up on screen. We're also gonna be giving away a uh, card market coupon code for 10 euros for new people. This is for European player, <laughs> 3-0 for Albion. Oh, we only need two more victories. I wonder what our next opponent will be. We just uh, de destroyed team uh, demo spell. Uh, yeah, that's gonna. this video is gonna be ridiculous, man. Already 3-0. Our team is very, very strong right now. Thanks for the well-played wishes. We're gonna be opening up some battle styles codes. Awesome, so uh, that's cool. Yeah, our stream is uh, five minutes having a delay just so people cannot stream snipe. Mm -hmm. 3 0 for Albion. Our team is ridiculously overpowered. Okay. Next. I wonder what I'm going to be up against up next. We only need to win like two more times, so the pressure's off a little bit. We're going to be getting some of these codes. Six codes. Let's go. Claim. It should be no problem. Yeah, this is a team challenge. You uh, have to uh, talk about the uh, pairings and all that with your trainer organizer. Also, be sure to single strike the hell out of that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. It helps out. I'm not kidding you. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm up against Kevin right now. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Are we still not able to open up these packs? Kevin and Kevin is playing. He is playing Santi. It's a Santi mirror. It's a Santi mirror. We'll see how that goes. Okay. That could be closed, by the way. Santi mirrors. Okay. Let's add this fella. Let's go. Santi mirror. He is playing Glare and Zigzag, and we are not playing Glare and Zigzag, so I wonder how this will go. The guy that's able to flare start the next turn and able to one hit KO with a uh, Heatran GX probably will win. But we cannot know anything for sure. Also, that 10 euro coupon code is for Card Market, European platform. So if you haven't ever registered on Card Market, you can make an account, then add in that coupon code. And you have 10 euros. That's 10 euros free money to check it out for yourself. We have a Senti. Is he playing Reshazard? Same. We'll see how this one goes. We'll see how this one goes. Senti against Senti. You have a good deck. You have a good deck. I wonder if we should attach here already or not. Because we already have Welder in hand. But he probably will slap down Giant Heart either way. Does he play some sort of way to dunk us? Let's see here. Senti, VMAX, Volcanion, not playing the Rashizard, so I think we're good. He's also playing two reset stamp. 
He cannot dunk it, which is good. He can go for flare, flare starter, but if we attach and evolve instantly into our Senti, we will be able to KO the Volcanion already. And then accelerate energies from the discard pile, then maybe go for Heatran the following turn. I don't know how Senti mirrors work just yet. It's a little bit difficult, that's for sure. A Volcanion switch attached, flare starter. Scoop up. Yeah, he's gonna be playing uh, Crobat, yeah, that's what I thought. Thanks, uh, Spider Bite, for uh, watching the content. Poke Shoots as well. Ultimate Gamer. Thanks so much for being here. We're enjoying ourselves playing the team. Team Challenge. Senti. Weldering onto the Senti. Okay. What happens now? Two energies on the Senti. Radiating heat does get rid of the energy, which we don't mind at all. So, in this case, communication. Senti. Send to Scourge in the house. We can uh, quick ball away the scoop up net. Go for a classic Crobat. Crobat time. Ta da 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 Crobat. No energies whatsoever. That's insane. That's utterly insane. Yeah, right now we have to do this, which I don't love doing. Do get the energy over here. Not gonna slap down the giant heart, although we could become bigger with the giant heart. But the giant heart will also help him out, so we're not gonna do that. Not gonna do that at all. Next turn we can also go for, um, let's see here. Right now we're slapping 120, right? Yeah, someone scooped the codes very quickly. Yeah, they are playing with uh, fast internet power right now. Okay, one senti on the bench. Didn't want to slap down Giant Heart. Maybe he's bricking. You know, you never know, right? I just got a trainer toolkit. That's awesome to hear. Quick ball. Okay, there is a Dedenny GX coming. So if we uh, welder here. He can go for radiating heat again if he wants to. Another Crobat, okay. Doesn't want to be slapping down the Dedenne's here because we're playing Cramorant. Wildering onto the Senti on the bench. Does he find switch? How many switches in here? Zero. He could scoop up and then go for the Dedenne GX. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, radiating heat again. Don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. Like the 40 damage is not gonna be bother bothering us too much. Giant heart. Attach of turn. G Max Santiferno. Boom. Another attachment. I think next turn we need boss or something. I'm competing in this later today against Bento Games. We haven't been explained the rules, so we have to play versus all three players. Uh, it depends. There's, I think there's nine games you could potentially have, or actually, uh, yeah, three games you could potentially per, have per player, but that doesn't have to be the case. Because you need to have like five victories in total. And every, yeah, there's gonna be nine games max, I think. So nine games and you have to win five of them to be the winning the winning team. <laughs> card markers maintenance almost a whole day. Really? Maintenance? That's insane. I put up a lot of cards up on card markets. So if people want to be buy, buying from me, I have some cards up for sale. Just uh, note that code down to use it later. There's a welder coming. 
<laughs> I didn't slap down my uh, Dedane on purpose because I don't want to be seeing any of that. If we welder onto Senti, we are able to slap 60, 280, not enough, unfortunately. So right now, we just need to attach and find boss. That's all we need. We need to boss a Crobat. It's as simple as that. Switching to the Senti. Bam, 240, we still survive. We still survive. Six synergies, super scary. Okay, there's the boss, that's nice. We could boss this and then this Senti is gonna be overrunning us at one point. So we potentially have to go after this Senti once again. Senti number two. Yeah, Senti number two. I wonder if we should get rid of this. I'm actually gonna get rid of that. Get two energies. Welder the two energies and try to just get rid of this uh, Senti Scourge V Max before he's able to uh, get the victory here. So scoop up nets are available. Hmm, what to do now? I think just uh, regular G Max Senti Forno is nice, keeping the Danny in the deck so we have access to. Uh, Protection from reset stamp, presumably. He had, does have a huge hand, but if he knocks out Crobat, it doesn't matter in the prize race at all. So with G-Max and Deferno, it's fine. So 160 again, no energies, doesn't matter. If we attach again, we can do 160 once again and go from there. <laughs> yeah, cool. Seems cool to me. Also, be sure to check out play.limitlesstcg.com if you're interested in TCG online tournaments. They're hosting a perfect platform where you can just have yourself some fun. Is he playing Malolana? Yeah, I don't think so. He's not playing Malolana, so I think we're good. He does play Eldigos, though. We also have Wondrous Labyrinth, which could be pretty funny. Weldering onto Eldigos. <laughs> He's weldering onto the Vulcanian. Fine. Vulcanian can take the KO if he wants to. But it's not gonna be mattering. Oh yeah, he is gonna be taking the KO with this. Taking the 110 damage output. We boss this guy. And you should be fine from there on out. Because we have Aldigos to kind of get the boss back once again. This one. Okay, another welder. So we boss this. We use this. Ta -ta. We could protect ourselves from a potential reset stamp by. Yeah. Yeah, the Fiona is also pretty powerful, by the way. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. It's fine. It's fine as it is. Maybe we should have not done that, but it's fine. G-Max Antiferno, boom, 160, our sense scores gets bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's go. And even if he knocks out uh, the uh, Crobat V, it's not gonna matter the prize race at all. So he still needs to go through this Santi Scourge right now. And our hand potentially screams like uh, weldering onto Heatran and knocking out. He doesn't have another Santi, by the way. So he needs to come with Vulcanian poking some damage. We only need one more prize card, by the way, so Shouldn't be bothered by this at all. We also have like Giant Heart to retreat this uh, Crobat. Yeah, that's fine. I knew I was gonna get a reset stamp, but we outplayed him like, like a charm. So this is like fresh soup right now. This is very, very healthy. Okay. Pretty damn good. Fresh soup in the house for this matchup. Okay. He's probably not gonna be able to do anything because we have access to manual retreat. <laughs> it's a mirror match, the mirror in the house. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the best senti of them all? Hey Zados, it is fine. If I put one of my friend's channels in chat, he's trying to get 100 subs. <laughs> sure, you can post it, but don't spam. Never spam, just one, more, one link and that's all. Scoop on that. What now? Senti is slapping 240 freaking damage. And we can just attach and retreat. So flare starter. That's all he was able to do. Okay. We even have a boss to follow up with that. It's crazy. 
two energies. Well played. Okay, here we go. <laughs> G-Max Santiferno. He's gonna go second for the next game. Fine. So we outplayed that perfectly. I have a question. Is the best way to play Reshazard, Heatran, or Double and Santi? Hmm, I think Heatran. I'm a big fan of Heatran. This is turning out quite okay. Okay, Kevin, you ready for the last round? Or maybe, uh, it could not be the last round. He's gonna go second, so uh, against that, we'll have to be careful. Okay. Versus Senti. One. I won the first round. It's good. I think uh, our teammates need to go do good as well. We won the coin flip. You wanna go first? Yes. You wanna go first. Also, that Wondrous Labyrinth is like coming into handy against that Luke Metal player. That was hilarious. Okay. Let us just start with something nice. We go first, right? So we need that first turn attachment onto something so we can get the first prize card. Okay, there's a uh, scoop up nets and all that. We don't have a basic Pokemon just yet, which is utterly scary, but we do have access to Stellar Wish and Giant Heart, but I don't want to use Giant Heart because he will have access to Welder. Don't want to give him all the energies. We do have Welder as well. Hmm, maximizing our chances here. I think we need to maximize our chances just to find a quick ball. Just finding a quick ball. That's all I'm doing. Stellarish, quick ball. <laughs> yeah, just finding a quick ball. That's all I need to do. Quick ball. Let's get rid of this. We're getting ourselves a Senti. Insta Senti. There we go, a touch of turn. And uh, yeah, he could actually knock Zhao with a Volcanion, but then we knock him out, so it doesn't matter at all. I'm fine with this. Fine with this scenario. Heatran Jax is the best. Thanks, Sophie, for joining the stream. The Shiny Slum as well. Hello there. Yeah, we already answered that question. John Galvin. Thanks for the explanation. Cool. So uh, the team challenge means you uh, play with your group and the first team that gets five wins, wins the game. Wins the team challenge, hopefully. And if we win right now, I think we get a, a sweet looking play, play mat for going into a top 256. 256 teams, that's not a lot remaining. I think this uh, happens every single week, I should say. We'll see what happens. We need to uh, play as perfectly as possible. I uh, could attack with Santi. Instantly, he needs to do some stuff. Five cards in the hand. The Danny Jacks, that's fine. We have ourselves Kramer and targets. Gets rid of the Senti, gets rid of the Eldigos. Shiny Eldigos version from Shining Fates it's from the tin. This one as well, Cramoran. So uh, most of these cards you can get from tins. You can get this from the Trainer Toolkit. You can get this from the Cramoran tin. You can get this from the Eldigos tin. Be sure to check out the products on PoeTownStore.com and use that coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off, which totally helps out. Okay, there's the Welder onto the Senti. Welder onto Senti. Another Senti appears. And that's it. And that's it. We have a Volcanion. Not gonna be using the Volcanion though. I think we will just get rid of... We do have Switch, so I'm actually gonna get rid of Volcanion. Because we're not gonna be needing that anymore. Let's go, Welder. One, two, in the game. Ta-ta! Touch of turn. We also have the great catcher. This is like utterly broken. Stamping communication. He doesn't seem to be having anything, so I'm not gonna be stamping him. We do have the communication. We could potentially use that. Scoop up this guy. We already slap enough damage as it is. We can communication. Try to find Heatran next turn. He could go after our Heatran, 
but then we weld onto this guy. So many things to think about. We're also taking prize cards, so this should be okay. G Max, Santiferno, and also we could be playing the Danny now because Cramorant is gone. Cramorant is totally gone. We got an energy. We got an energy. Yeah, energies, plenty of energies. That means. With the switch we have right now, if we drop deck a quick ball or if we top deck Heatran. Yeah, Alex, uh, Route Ledge. Yeah, it's my boy. Zap those with uh, the Senti deck. Senti deck is doing pretty good. Okay, there's that reset stamp. I expected that, so we did slap down Jirachi just to protect ourselves a little bit from that uh, Muckus. Communication is here. Okay, and the zigzag pings could come live. Two giant hearts down the drain. He also threw away one Senti VMAX, so maybe he uh, whiffs on the Senti VMAX. Attachment of the Senti right there. Maybe he's charging up for one big Senti on there. Maybe we can use communication. Eldegos, Wilder again, knock this guy out. We have four, that's 200 damage output. If we just attach, we knock him out, so we can Wilder onto uh, Cramorant. Switching onto Zigzag, and that's it. Switching onto that guy, interesting. What I think about this is a uh, Cramorant. Communication. Let's get rid of this. We need to find boss's orders right now, right? So the, the chance of us getting boss's orders. Uh, yeah, we have one boss's orders in there. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how he goes. We also have Fionn, by the way. Oh yeah, I should have gotten Fionn. <laughs> I should have gotten Fionn. It's fine. It's fine either way. Wanderer's Labyrinth. Quick Ball. The Dene. It's time for some Fionn action. If we whiff on the uh, boss's orders, We'll see how it goes. Let's go for the Fion first. Give us a two prize Pokemon, man. He's gonna give us the Dane, right? If he's clever, he gives us the Dane. Yeah, cool. He is super duper clever. Uh, do we slap down another Senti for another opposing day? Let's go. The Dane GX activate. We have the boss. Thank you. Thank you, TCG. <laughs> get rid of this guy with all of these energies and there's also like the wondrous labyrinth slap down right now and our senti gets even bigger it looks terrible for the opponent it doesn't look too good looks like this is going to be a sweet victory in the senti mirror because as soon as we slap down giant heart and if we find ourselves another welder which are in the deck we can actually get uh, over the senti scorch v max and we also have like scoop up and feel once again hmm also, Cramorant can get rid of the Danny. So there's a, so many win cons right now. It's ridiculous. We did it, folks. We did it. Fire crystals are coming. Wondrous Labyrinth is here, so no Cramorant can attack from the opposing side out. He has two giant hearts and discard pal. This could be huge, by the way. Switching onto Jirachi. I think we have this. We played this out perfectly. Cool. That's gonna be. Uh, I think our team is going to be legend. We have a very strong team. Okay, just uh, waiting it out. Well played. Thank you. Mm, attachment onto the Senti. If you knock something out, we have Eldegos, which is cool. Yeah, maybe we should have actually like attached to the Senti, by the way. It's fine. G-Max Sentiferno again. <laughs> Getting even stronger. There's no way he can knock out the Senti this turn. We have communication. He could stamp us to one. But he already wasted a stamp. <laughs> okay. Our team is dominating. I think our other uh, members, uh, Bart and Arna, also got W right now. So our win is not even necessary, but a 6-0-0, a 6-0 record is insane. It is totally insane. Also, for the people that are new, be sure to subscribe so you don't ever miss any daily TCG uploads. 
Yeah, Cramorant snipes the Dene. Sent the Scourge knocks out everything in the game. Don't even need to see the decklist anymore. Let's just close them down. And we're up to top 256 players. He could dig for a... Uh, <laughs> he could potentially dig for Reset Stamp. Yeah, there's a Welder coming live. He could slap some damage, but he's never gonna be able to KO Sent the Scourge VMAX. Well played. Thank you. You have a good deck. GMAX at Inferno. Okay. Yeah, don't even need to uh, get that extra attachment, it's fine. We did it, we did it, we did it. We're up to uh, top 256 with our team. Our team is doing pretty well. Uh, big shout out to Bard, big shout out to Arna. Big shout out, Rebecca didn't play, I think. Uh, he, she was coaching us, so it's very, very nice. We did it. So you'll see more of these team challenges. I think uh, they're very fun. Uh, it's uh, together in a group, so that's some also something I like. <laughs> Yo, Olegar, uh, Jamie, uh, Withouse. GG. <laughs> 6-0. Well, that is just total annihilation right there. <laughs> total annihilation. This is a, I know this is a shorter stream, but sure. We're going to be putting two codes up on screen right now, just for you guys, so you guys can claim some battle styles. While we're doing that, we're also going to be opening up some uh, boosters on TCGO. Also, this the next one is going to be battle styles legal, so we have to practice. We also can play with other decks. It's going to be uh, fun. So we're going to be opening up uh, this one. Battle styles. Let's do this. <laughs> Congrats, everybody. Thank you for the congratulations. Yeah, we did well. Hmm. What is this? Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Not too bad. And an Aegis Slash. Okay. Hopefully, you guys had fun with this short stream. This was us playing the team challenge. We did it. We qualified for top 256. Hopefully your teams are also uh, qualified so we can face off against each other soon. We literally like have 6-0 score. We can actually put that on screen right now. Uh, score. There we go. We utterly destroyed them. <laughs> Primeape and... Uh, Marowak in this list. Insane. Cool. Next up. Come on, Urshis. We also get, we always get like uh, just uh, regular rares. Regular rares. Come on, man. Hondoom and Sentacon. That's not, not a bad pack because of both of these. We need to make that Rogue Sentacon deck, to be honest. Should be fun. Ta 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 ta. And we ended up with a, a Sensor Scorch. How ironic. Since, seeing as we are playing Sensor Scorch as well. Let's open this Vivid Voltage pack. Maybe we can get an Orbital or something. Everybody's very excited for, uh, yeah, <laughs> us winning in the team challenge. These are like sh shorter streams, but they are so much fun. And if you if you want to see more content of Pokemon TCG, be sure to check out our uh, video that we posted today. The video of uh, the one and only Salazzle Weeping Bell deck. Ta-ta! <laughs> we got a really boom. That's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, quick little stream. We gave away some codes. We gave away uh, some battle style stuff. We opened some battle style packs and we uh, destroyed our opponent. So, unfortunately, we are, uh, yeah, we wrecked them. So, there's no uh, couple of matches that we still need to play. But I thank everybody for being in this live stream. Be sure to let me know if you're enjoying these live streams. I'm going to try to do more uh, of these when the time is right. Uh, be sure to demolish that like button. Just a single strike the hell out of the like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. And I'll see you guys with more Pokemon TCG online tournaments very, very shortly. We're going to be playing in the Albion Cup uh, probably on Monday. Be sure to check that out. That's going to be uh, 6.30 Central Europe time that we're going to be going live. And yeah, we're going to have an awesome time. And also I should let you guys know is that the next team challenge will uh, include battle style. So uh, be careful. I also <laughs> had some trouble with Bronzong, which was hilarious. But uh, we just outplayed in the Senti matchup. That was very good. Our Senti match did definitely worked out pretty well. Uh, yeah, 
That's it for this video. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'm posting daily Pokemon TCG content. And I will be seeing you guys in the next videos very, very shortly. Thanks again for being here. The team challenge is over. We're going to top 256 players. And yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Also, Player Cup 3, the next phase is starting, uh, actually is live right now. I don't know who is winning right now. I actually can check it out on the um, Battle File, Battle File, Battle File, yeah. Uh, website, I uh, actually got destroyed with my Blounds because of like uh, seeing like Cridally and Amastar. So I'm not playing in the Player's Cup 3 anymore. We did pretty well, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. Player's Cup 4 has been announced. Uh, be sure to link your Pokemon Trading Card Game online account to your player ID, and then you can uh, receive 50 tournament keys where you're gonna be able to, uh, of course, uh, compete in Players' Cup 4. And Players' Cup 4 will have $45,000 of prizes worth uh, to give away to the top players. So that's definitely something to look forward to. We're gonna be playing that. Uh, we're gonna be live streaming more than ever before. And I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Thanks again for being here. Peace out. It was very quick, I know. Sorry, peace. <laughs>